Hi guys. Well, as I promised, here is the first installment of the Cyclone Fitness video blog. I am excited because what this means to me personally is that people, you guys, are going to be holding me accountable. You're going to be my trainers. Yay, I need a trainer and I get lots of trainers, hopefully. So what I'm going to do is my workout. It's a simple workout, three different exercises. I'm going to warm up first running around the block and then I'll do three sets of these exercises. And following that, I'm going to share a nutritional fact. I think it is really important that every day we learn something about nutrition or we learn something that is going to better our diet or something we can take it out of our diet that might be a simple fix that causes a big positive impact on our bodies. So you guys are going to keep me accountable to work out every day and to learn something so that I can bring both of those things to you. I'm going to go warm up and let's do the workout. Okay guys, just ran around the block. I am officially warmed up. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Caleb. This is Caleb. Um, squishy soft four pound ball, just four pounds. Those of you who work out with me in my studio know and have a love-hate relationship with Caleb. Uh, both Two of my exercises today I'm gonna do with Caleb and one of them um, I'm going to do without. So um, if you don't have a Caleb at home, you can use um, anything that doesn't weigh too much. You can use a jug of milk. You can use whatever you want uh, to do these three drills. But I'm going to show you my first set, um, and here we go. These are Caleb taps. I'm going to go. I'm going to do 20 of all three, and then we're just going to start right back over. All right, here we go. You're essentially doing a jumping jack with your lower body, with your legs. Your chest stays high. You don't want to do this and bend down like that because then you're going to impinge your back. You don't want to do that. You want to be sinking all your weight into your heels. This is a killer inner outer thigh workout. Oh, quads and I'm not counting because I'm talking and glutes, of course. But you're bringing your, you're keeping your chest upper body nice and tall, weight in the heels. You, I can wiggle my toes when I'm all the way down because I'm not going up like this, which is hard on the knees. Down. Going into commando push-ups. Commando, you start all the way down, hands tucked in next to your armpit area on your toes, and you're gonna, you're gonna fire up at the same time, tuck a knee all the way back down to the floor. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, slow and down, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, bring the mat in. Now, it's gonna be like I'm sitting in a chair. You want your legs coming a right angle from your body, right up and over like you're sitting in a chair. Caleb's gonna rest nice and fancy right on the bottoms of my shins and my feet. And he is not for weight, but for target. I'm gonna throw my arms up, tap Caleb. Woo, crunch burn. Two, three, four. Notice I'm not bringing five. The ball to me, I'm going to the ball. Six, seven, abs burning. Eight, nine, 10. Use your arms to throw your body up, 11. 12, rolling the back down, 13, 14, 15, 16, Woo! 17, 18, 19, come on Sarah, 20, that's round one, set one, I'm gonna run around the block. Okay, nutritional fact of the very first blog, and I think it has to be about sugar. 
because when people say to me, oh, I can't lose weight, or oh, I just feel like tired and I feel this and that, the very simplest thing, most impactful change that you can make nutritionally is to remove refined sugar from your diet. Just take the sugar out. And sugar isn't just in the soft drinks and the obvious things like a pack of Starburst, a piece of chocolate cake. It's not just that. They're in your cereal. They're in your Cheerios. They're in almost every processed food has some form of refined sugar in it. Sadly, a lot of the processed foods have the worst kind, the high fructose corn syrup. So um, one of the easiest um, things to impact your body your fitness level, your energy level is to remove the sugar. But today's fact, not only is it, okay, you know, we all know that you eat a bunch of sugar, it, it causes weight gain, it's one of the leading causes of obesity in the US, um, is sugar intake and the mass quantities due to our now very processed food diet that we take in. Um, but one of the facts that you may not know, why is sugar so bad? Another reason why sugar is so bad is that a constant intake of sugar creates an acidic environment in your body. And acidic, an acidic environment in your body is not ideal, and your body panics. Your body says, oh, I, I wanna be an alkaline environment. I don't wanna be acidic. So your body absorbs minerals from your body tissues to neutralize that acidity level. And it will absorb calcium from your bones and your teeth, causing osteoporosis and you know, tooth decay, and people think, oh, I, will, I, I ate this sugar, I better brush my teeth because it'll cause tooth decay. It's not the actual sugar being placed on the teeth, it's the sugar in the body and what it creates and what it causes the body do to, to fight that acidic um, and just not great environment in the body. Another key issue about an acidic environment in your body is cancer cells thrive in an acidic environment and they cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So if you are constantly eating sugar, you're creating a beautiful like tropical resort for cancer cells. Yay! So we don't want to do that. We want the cancer cells to not be able to exist there and so we take the sugar out and the body, the liver, everything can do what it is supposed to do burn fat, all of these great functions that our body does when it's not bogged down by trying to neutralize our acidic sugary environment in our body. So refined sugar, bad for many reasons, but tonight I just wanted to share with you that reason um, because of that. Tumors are enormous absorbers of sugar. They think that, I mean, they're, they are the cookie monster of, of uh, sugar. So sugar, refined sugar, bad. That's your nutrition fact for today.